All right, so we move on to IELTS uh, re listening part two. And uh, first, you need to see the title New Staff at Theater. Now, new staff means new employees. Theater means where there is the drama and all that. Uh, it's, it's a good idea if you imagine a theater. Any theater where there is the stage and people sit and all that stuff, right? So, new staff at theater. It means this audio is all about this new staff. Now, we have questions 11 and 12. Uh, listen. Whenever we have this type of multiple choice questions where there are five options and you have to select two, the most important thing is the question sentence. What is that? Please come here. Which two changes have been made? Now, focus. Two changes and made so far during the refurbishment of the theater. Now, look here. Two changes have been made okay now the changes that have not been made they will be the trap if they say we wanted to do this but because of the lack of funds we stopped it or we wanted to do this but there was a lot of opposition so we stopped it that will be the trap so two changes have been made so far during the refurbishment of the theater if this is something was already there we didn't have to change that. That is also a trap. Okay, now another thing. They will talk about all five options one by one, but there is no order. It's not that they start from A, B, C. If it could be like this, we could easily manage that. I mean, then we just have to see A is the trap or the answer. But actually, they will start talking about all these options from anywhere. So, first of all, you have to catch that option. The first thing is, and how to catch the option? As you go through them, when they give you half minute to read, you need to underline some words. And those words will help you catch the option. At the moment, you see five long statements. When it comes to listening, half minute time. So these five statements are long. But we are going to cut them short. I tell you how. Please come to statement number one. Some rooms now have a different use. Rooms different use okay now say instead of bathroom now we have a kitchen <laughs> or instead of drawing room now we have a tv lounge for example so some rooms now have a different use so rooms and different use just avoid the words uh, like helping verbs avoid the words like some articles are so if we just eliminate some now have uh, so, we are just left with rooms and different use, right, or different use of rooms. B, different type of seating has been installed is understood. Different type of seating. Seating means sitting arrangement, right? You know, that's why this is seating arrangement. It's never the word sitting, S-I-T-T-I-N-G. That's wrong. The word is seating, exactly. So, different type of seating. If they say we have changed the seating, uh, now we've got more capacity or we have changed the chairs and all that. So type of seating, right? Next, elevator has been installed. Just focus elevator installed. Now listen, in the audio, when they talk about elevator, immediately come to this point. And then you got to see if they have installed the elevator, this is the answer. If they wanted to install the elevator, but they did not have sufficient funds, then this is a trap. And it's a good idea to cross the trap also. Out of five, if you cross two options, your success rate will be doubled. So whenever you listen to an option which is not the right answer, you must cross there. Next one is outside of the building has been repaired. Outside and Repaired. And you need to switch on your imagination at the same time as well. And, and, and by the way, over there, you will not have this much time and luxury that, okay, uh, option A is this and then you look around and all that. Option E, extra seats have been added. So, extra seats and, you know, two options are related to seats. So, there can be one right answer and one trap. Extra seats have been added. Now, what does that mean? First, they used to be the capacity of 100 people. Now, 
150 people can sit there. Okay, now, shall I play the audio? Please be extra careful, be alert and all that. So. Hi, great to see you. I'm Jody, and I'll be looking after both of you for the first month you're working here at the Amersham Theatre. I'll tell you something about the theatre now, then take you to meet two of the other staff. It's an old building, and it's been modernised several times. In fact, as you can see, we're carrying out a major refurbishment at the moment. The interior has just been repainted, and we're about to start on the exterior of the building. That'll be a big job. The work's running over budget, so we've had to postpone installing an elevator. I hope you're happy running up and down stairs. When the theatre was built, people were generally slimmer and shorter than now, and the seats were very close together. We've replaced them with larger seats, with more legroom. This means fewer seats in total, but we've taken the opportunity to install seats that can easily be moved to create different acting spaces. We've also turned a few storerooms over to other purposes, like using them for meetings. Mashallah. Tomorrow you got to give your sadka. Okay. So the right answer is A and B. See that how cunningly they talked about outside of the building has been repaired. She said exterior will be, it will start later. So that was a trap. Then elevator. They talked about elevator. She said it's postponed. Right. Then, I mean, if successfully you remove these two options, then you've got more chance. And after that, she talked about uh, sitting, right? And she said larger seats. Now, larger seat does not mean extra seats. You might be thinking that it's going to be one. So, larger seats and then some store rooms they used for some other purpose. Exactly. So, it's A and B. All right, let's move on. Questions 13 and 14. Which two facilities does the theater currently offer to the public very important word currently and what will be the trap we will start it next week we we are planning to do it from next month but the question is currently offer what they offered in the past or what they used to offer that is a trap what they are planning to offer that is also a trap but what they are actually offering is the right answer now what is that rooms for hire now the options are already short, so you don't need to worry about that. Backstage tours, hire of costumes, bookshop and cafe. Now let's see. And again, focus two facilities they currently offer. If they say, for example, our cafe is closed for renovation, but we are planning to open it or reopen it very soon, then E is not the answer, right? Yes. Let's take a start. We try hard to involve members of the public in the theatre. One way is by organising backstage tours, so people can be shown round the building and learn how a theatre operates. These are proving very popular. What we're finding is that people want to have lunch or a cup of coffee while they're here. So we're looking into the possibility of opening a cafe in due course. We have a bookshop which specializes in books about drama, and that attracts plenty of customers. Then there are two large rooms that will be decorated next month, and they'll be available for hire, for conferences and private functions, such as parties. We're also considering hiring out costumes to amateur drama clubs. B and D, exactly. See that for cafe? They said we are considering, right? Uh, for hire of costumes, that is again they are considering. Rooms for hire, that is for future. First, they spoke about backstage tours. And for that, they use present continuous. So currently, and these are proving very popular, something like that, she said. And after that, bookshop. And again, for that, they use present tense, right? Yes. All right, very good. Now, let's move on. Questions 15 and 16. 
uh, which two workshops does the theater currently offer now you understand these small words make big difference currently offer what they used to offer would be a trap what they are planning to offer would be a trap but with what they offer now currently and focus present tense present continuous tense they will be the answer sound now all these are workshops sound acting making puppets makeup lighting and all that right okay so let's move on now i want to tell you about our workshops we recently started a program of workshops that anyone can join eventually we intend to run courses in acting but we're waiting until we've got the right people in place as trainers that's proving more difficult than we'd expected there's a big demand to learn about the technical side of putting on a production and our lighting workshop has already started with great success we're going to start one on sound next month a number of people have inquired about workshops on makeup and that's something we're considering for the future a surprise success is the workshop on making puppets we happen to have someone working here who does it as a hobby and she offered to run a workshop it was so popular we're now running them every month we are now running them every month, every month. exactly so c and e very good makeup puppet making puppets and lighting for makeup she said we are considering and all that okay a little focus and the question statement is very important find any word like currently or any other word like that that makes all the difference now we have the map someone was saying i've got difficulties with maps yeah so let's do that question 17 to 20 label the plan below plan or map it's the same thing uh, ground for, floor plan of theater this is a ground floor plan and by the way you don't need to read the questions if you read the questions you don't understand anything what will you get out of box office theater manager's office you can take a look at the questions while the audio is on because they will talk about them one by one they will say first of all you might be thinking where is the box office so you know it's question number 17 you need to spend all your time looking at the map now this map has got the entrance right always they've, they've got some sort of entrance it means the audio is going to start from there let's take a look please first we have the road name is not mentioned and can you see there are two entrances one is here they might call it the main entrance and then they might call the other one as the side entrance okay if you enter from the main entrance there is foyer foyer is that open area down there we've got foyer as well that's what we call lobby as well uh, then double doors so if they take you from the double doors and then say turn right then the answers can be C F D G clear and by the way if they say turn right from the double doors and it is on the left now when they say it is on the left either it is C or D if they say it's the first building on the left then it is C if they say it's the second building on the left then it is d all right now if they take you from the double doors to the left side now left side then there is option e and if they say turn right from the water cooler that means the answer will be either a or b so if they say turn right from the water cooler and after that again turn right and on the first building on the right what will that be first building on the right you're not with me a and second building on the right is b exactly and if there is something like this option g for that they will take you from the other entrance okay now we do it together question number 17 box office listen to the audio your pencil should move as they say turn right pencil will turn right if they say it's the second building on the left pencil will go to the second building that is going to help you a lot this hand should stay with the question and this hand that holds the pencil should move on it's better if you ask the question in english okay. you are in ielts class huh yes. yeah okay listen up listen up 
uh, I mean, when the map is in front of you, they will follow the left right accordingly. It's not going to be like the map is behind you somewhere or anything like that. Okay. So if the map is there and entrance from the double door and then say then turn right. If you turn right, it's the right that you have, your right. It's not that someone is in front of you. So the map should be in front of you. Double door, turn right. If you turn right, then on the left, we have C and D. Clear? I mean, you will just imagine that I am just turning right. Yeah? Not in actual exam that you stand up, I am doing map question. Or I will do it again. Okay, left and all that. Right? Sorry? English, please. No, 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 no. Your right is same. Come on. Listen. If they say enter, you enter from here. Turn right. Which is right? Hai? Yeah. Turn right is your right. Then they say left. So this is your left. You are there and then this is your left. Yeah. Don't confuse yourself. Which is your right hand by the way? <gasps> this is left. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So you should remember your basics first, right? Okay, question number 17, please. Now, a word about the layout of the building. The auditorium, stage and dressing rooms for the actors are all below ground level. Here on the ground floor, we have most of the rooms that the public doesn't see. The majority are internal, so they have windows in the roof to light them. Standing here in the foyer, you're probably wondering why the box office isn't here, where the public would expect to find it. Well, you might have noticed it on your way in. Although it's part of this building, it's next door, with a separate entrance from the road. Next door, separate entrance from the road. So, answer is? GG. Okay, G will be the right answer. Is that clear? No confusion of left, right and all that? Yeah? Good. Now, theater manager's office. So we got to see where the manager's office is. Let's move on. For the theater manager's office, you go across the foyer and through the double doors. Turn right and it's the room at the end of the corridor with the door on the left. End of the corridor with the door on the left. On the left is G. No? See that? Okay. Yeah. So, on the left is actually D. Yeah, second. Good job. Question number 19. Lighting box. Let's see where the lighting box is. The lighting box is where the computerized stage lighting is operated. And it's at the back of the building. Back of the building. When you're through the double doors, turn left... Turn right at the water cooler and right again at the end. It's the second room along that corridor. The lighting second box room. has a window into the auditorium, which of course is below us. Okay, so before that, some of you decided, I mean, that's not good. You need to wait for that. She said second room. Second room is B. A is first room and B is second room. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah? Good. Next, we've got artistic director's office. Question number 20. The artistic director's office is through the double doors, turn right, and it's the first room you come to on the right-hand side. This or this, okay. First room you come to on the right-hand side. So that is C. Good, well done, very good. All right, see that? So if you follow it like this, it's all easy, it's all clear. Otherwise, if you are confused, you're, you're not going to be able to do it. Mm, okay, yeah. Listen up. It's not necessary. Sometimes they make, a, make one tour, one long tour, right? They will take you from the starting point, then they go on and on and on and on. This is one type. Second type is they will start from you are here. On the map, it's written you are here. So from you are here, they will take you. Now listen, it is important that on the map, like over here, they have given water cooler, they have given double door, 
you might have noticed they use double door several times so any words like that you can encircle and as they speak about them now for example if instead of double door they say in order to go to lighting box once you come to water cooler now directly you can go to water cooler so the words or the the uh, places which are already mentioned underline those sometimes they can start from there for example if they say in order to go to lighting box from water cooler and then they will take you from there clear so it is not necessary that every time they will start from point 0 they may do that but it's not necessary right 